important disclaimer. This video is not serious. It is a joke intended to be humorous. Ubuntu Linux. You have literally zero personality. There is so much flavor out there in the world, and here you are, picking the most popular desktop distro available, literally the vanilla of Linux. And you don't even pick one of the exciting desktops. You go with the most popular desktop available, GNOME. When people think of Linux who don't know anything about Linux, they picture your system. But hey, at least you get snaps. Hop OS. Gaming. We're gamers. We love gaming. Look, Valve has put a lot of money into Linux gaming, so clearly Linux gaming must be an actual viable use case and a great experience by now, right? Right. <laughs> right. Actually, the only reason I'm here is because I don't know how to install video drivers and someone told me the video drivers were installed well here, so like, yeah. Linux Mint. I miss Windows. And I don't mean Windows today, I mean Windows 7. Windows 7 was the last good version of Windows. And I'm not going to admit this publicly, however, a part of me does still want to go and run Windows today. Also, I may have installed Mint on my grandma's computer without telling her, aren't I the coolest person around? Let's just forget the fact that I may have possibly nuked the petition that had all of her data and it deleted the pictures of her grandchildren. But now we have a new Linux user and that's all that matters. Debian. Ubuntu? Arch? Fedora? Sousa? What are, what are those supposed to be? I've literally never heard of any of those words. I've been running Debian for the past 30 years why would I run anything else? It's the universal operating system. Kali Linux. I know exactly what you are. Your favorite show is Mr. Robot. You've seen the entire thing five plus times. You love the show. You know every single line. And you don't have any knowledge of pen testing outside of this show, but you think the idea would be really cool. And Kali Linux is obviously the place that all of the hackers go, so obviously the hacker that you are is going to run Kali Linux. Also, the dragon does look pretty cool. To be fair, it does look pretty cool. And because you're running Kali Linux, people are going to assume that you probably know a lot more than you really do. NixOS. People like to say, oh, Arch users always have to tell you they're using Arch. Ha ha, Arch, by the way. You've never spoken to a NixOS user. These people are insane. Every single conversation you have with them, they have to bring up NixOS and how great NixOS is and why everyone should be running NixOS, or at least running the NixOS package manager. To be fair, this does seem like a survival instinct because there's about 10 NixOS users in the entire world, so they kind of need to keep recruiting people, otherwise they're all going to die out. Arch Linux. By the way... You have almost zero respect for your time. You were planning to build the exact same thing that you would get out of the box on any other distro using that desktop, but have a hundred times the number of issues because you feel like you want to build it yourself. Well, this is the perfect place for you, unless you like to waste even more time. Gen 2 Linux. You have even less respect for your time. You have all of the exact same issues as Arch, but this time you just happen to compile the code as well because you read on some forum somewhere that compiling the code for your specific CPU is going to make it faster. Did you actually do any benchmarks to determine this? No. But you sure do like to say how much faster your system is because you compiled the code. Ignore the fact that the benefits you get are outweighed by the fact that you are compiling the code, so unless you run the application a million times, you're not actually going to get any speed up from it. But that's besides the point. Hey bro, by the way, what are your compile options? Linux from scratch. You have literally zero respect for your time. What else can I say? Manjaro Linux. These people don't actually exist. 
no one can download the ISO if the TLS cert is broken yet again. Endeavor OS. You wanted to be an Arch user, and you were going to do it. And then, you looked at the install guide. And you reconsidered your life choices. But hey, at least your system basically is just Arch, and the AUR works exactly like it should. Unlike for those Manjaro users. You know it. I know it. Fedora Linux. We are not a joke. Stop making Fedora jokes. Stop saying milady. We have nothing to do with the meme. Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Sorry, one moment. I just got a call from my boss, Arvind Krishna. He told me that this whole open source thing just doesn't make any sense anymore. And we need to make more money. MX Linux. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't think anybody in the world actually runs MX Linux. But for five whole years now, it has been in this self-perpetuating cycle of being the top-ranked distro on DistroWatch because nobody knows what MX Linux is, so they keep checking what MX Linux is, putting it at the top of the distro list. Everybody wants to know why this random distro is so popular, so it just keeps getting more and more and more popular. Once again, this video is a joke. Redirect your complaints to 1-800-382-5633. I felt like the videos were getting kind of stale, and I wanted to do something a bit different, so... Uh, let me know what you think. I might throw in some random fun videos like this here and there, so if you like them... Let me know if you like them. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribes Libero Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I have a lot more distros for a part two.